Hi, Sarah. Well, Secretary Mnuchin and Administrator Carranza taking questions before the House Small Business Committee today on PPP rounds one and two. What worked with the program and what didn't? Uh, Treasury Secretary Mnuchin says he does support repurposing the more than $130 billion in aid that still remains for businesses most in need. The administration supports using the existing money and topping it up with some additional money, and that, that will be discussed, and allowing for a second payment to the businesses that are especially hard hit. I think this time we need to have a revenue test and make sure that money is going to businesses that have significant revenue declines. That's something that Congress didn't have in the first provision. So, but make sure that the businesses that are especially hard hit, particularly small businesses, and put in certain safeguards. The committee also focused on a lack of information regarding access to the program by both minority-owned businesses and women-owned businesses. They also pushed for more forgiveness guidance. There's still a lot of questions that remain about forgiveness. We were told by Administrator Carranza it is coming in August. Guys, back over to you. So what's the appetite on Capitol Hill for doing more with PPP? Is that something that, that he's going to be able to get past? And, and how is it going to look different at all, given the fact that you know, at first they didn't have to disclose it and then they have to disclose it. I mean, there are there are some lessons learned, I would assume. Definitely lessons learned, even from just round one to round two. The appetite does seem very great to get something done, particularly with a keen focus on businesses that may have been underserved in the first wave of the program. Minority owned businesses, women owned businesses, smaller businesses with under 20 uh, employees. And then also Secretary Mnuchin talked about hard hit industries like hotels, retail and restaurants. The, the National Restaurant Association just yesterday asked Congress for a specific restaurant focused aid package just because that industry has been so decimated. So I think whatever we see next time around will be more focused, Sarah, in terms of who this is serving and how. It's interesting, though, uh, both Kate and Sarah. I mean, clearly, if this gets extended and there's demand for it, then, then that's a good thing. Uh, but as we stand, there's still money left. And, and Kate, the other point, which uh, we were emailing about during the week, that Brian Moynihan of Bank of America said on, on his earnings call that of the money they've distributed in terms of PPP loans, their estimate is that only 40 percent of that has been spent by the businesses and that 60 percent is still sitting in the bank accounts of the businesses. So uh, in just in terms of the priorities that perhaps the administration and Congress should have of all of the measures that was in the first CARES Act, perhaps this shouldn't be the highest thing on the list, but rather other factors like extending unemployment benefit or, or whatever it might be should be should be uh, higher on the list of priorities. Yeah, certainly. And, and other stimulus definitely also came up to uh, throughout this hearing. But like I said, I think we'll see a, a keen focus on businesses that were potentially underserved, not the ones that got the loans and are still waiting to spend them or waiting on forgiveness guidance. People who might have been locked out of this program or this program didn't best serve, they'll be the ones that I think lawmakers want to see more of a focus on this time around. And one more thing that they talked a bit about today was forgiveness and broad forgiveness for loans uh, below $150,000. There's been somewhat of a push for that. Secretary Mnuchin didn't quite buy in to that broadly, but said smaller loans he would consider, you know, more broad forgiveness for.